All right, if you're ready to if you're ready to listen, I'm ready to talk. That's how that works. Is that how that works? That is how that works. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So here I am talking to you guys. Oh, and we're going to talk. We don't want to have to do this. I'd rather talk about fun stuff. But since our liberty is under assault, as the United States of America, our liberty is under assault. Well, I guess we're going to have to talk about it. Uh, yeah, we talked about how it is my job. It is our job. It is the small microphone media guys. That's who has to spread the message. That's who has to inspire the people. That's who has to give people what they need, the, the information, so they can make good choices. Because uh, we're not going to get it from the mainstream media, the legacy media. We're not even going to get it from Fox. And we pointed that out. You know, people are like, oh, well, then derp, derp, Fox News. I said, I'm not married to Fox News. How many, how many views are we up to? 2.9. 2.9 million views on the are you smarter than a Fox News expert? Most of those came in the first, like, yeah, couple weeks or months. I can't remember. Well, we, 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 in, within two, we hit million in like two weeks. Um, when, when was that published? Out, yeah, that's what I was just trying to figure out. Do you know when that was published? Oh, oh, here we go. Jan July 13th, 2016. Oh, so uh, six years ago. Wow. 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 Yes, indeed. All right. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. We're going to talk about, we've got a Duracoat finish firearm for you guys today. We've got a Brownells bullet point for you today. Obviously, we have a Crossbreed Holsters uh, homeroom. Talk about dangerous on demand. And then we're going to use the words. We're going to listen to what Democrat scumbag communist pieces of human filth have to say, the lies that they're telling in order to disarm you. And I guess your que the question I have for you is, will you allow yourself to be disarmed by lies i don't know as the music plays you ponder that welcome to student of the gun radio proudly brought to you from the sds import studio if you want quality that's affordable visit sdsimports.com we don't just talk guns and gear we also discuss current events and politics because guns are politics now sit back and listen louder to your co-host ceo of full 30 jared markle and your beloved host, the Pimp Hand of America, Professor Paul Markle. All right. Yes, indeed. All right. It's time. And I'm looking at, uh, it's funny how the internet works. Um, how depending on, on where you go, <laughs> student of the gun. If you look up student of the gun, uh, what it, do you know? What Crunch Base company profile and funding is? Is that something that you do? Uh, I know what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So we're listed on CrunchBase dot com. Oh, interesting. 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 I didn't submit our information, so it's probably just hearsay. Oh, well, it's it's there. It's it's probably here today. Yeah. So you can look us up. But anyway. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff for you. We talked about earlier during the, the pre-show, kind of in the teaser, we talked about where you can find Student of the Gun. And we're like, it's, you go to internet.com, man, we're there. Now, if you guys are on Discord, and uh, I'm assuming that a lot of you are, is that us? That's, yeah, that's us, but it's very old. Oh, cool. Yeah. If you guys are on Discord and you've got questions, we've got answers, and we're going to try and help you out. We'll do our absolute best to, to try and help you guys out here. Uh, we're getting close. It's we are T minus seven days. No, T minus five days until the student of the gun precision rifle class uh, that we do uh, annually in Wyoming on our big wide open mile long range in Wyoming. So we're T minus T minus five days until we kick that off. So we're going to be having a good time, having a good time out in the uh, wild wyoming wilderness this weekend it's a what 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 www originally stood for that's right wild wyoming wilderness www but until then or before then or in in addition to whatever we're going to do a duracoat finished firearm of the week Oh, 
Oh, yeah. And I'm not going to go too far into this one, but I was having a, a conversation with myself as I was writing here recently. And I was talking about, I was writing about uh, color contrast and standing out. And we like to color our guns. You know, sometimes you camouflage them or whatever. But when it comes to handguns, rifles, or shotguns, if you have, if you're using iron sights and if you're not using a, a scope, one of the things you need to make sure you're doing is that you have a sight that stands out, that is a contrast from what you've got. Now, a long time ago, many, many moons ago, what the standard practice for firearms manufacturers was that they would coat the iron sights in the same material that they coated the gun with. So if the gun was blue steel, then the front sight was a blue steel and it, and it was the same exact color as the slide or very small blade. Yeah. You know, or if it was stainless, same thing. It was stainless. I was just going to shave those things off. I don't need it. It was nickel or whatever. But the, the best option for you, regardless of what color the gun is, is to make sure that your aiming device, whether it's a brass bead or whether it's a, a blade or what whatever stands out and it contrasts from that you might say duh i know this now i say you know when you look at me when you guys look at me and you're like duh i know this paul you don't need to say it there are people out there that need for it to be said okay (laughs) trust me on this one there are people out there that need for it to be said uh so i just said it and i said it i meant it i'm here to represent it so um because you and the which sites are the most important one jared the front side the front one that's all right people spend all kinds of time and attention and mental energy on the rear site like that's not where your mental energy and attention needs to be it needs to be on the front one i don't need a front site. that's the important one that's right the front you site just that? gets in the way that's right but the rear site it's 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 like years. I can't even ago, think of anything dumb to say. Years, years ago, when someone wrote a, they, they opined in a an RIA. You guys know what an RIA is, right? A random internet a hole jumped in and said, "I hate those excess sites because the big dot is distracting." It's supposed to be. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I punched the gun out, and that, and that's all I see is that that big white dot at the end. I can see how that would be a distraction for you. <laughs> would you say that it's distracting? You have a small amount or a large amount of knowledge about <laughs> handguns and handgun sites. Would I say that I have a small amount or a large amount? Yes. I would say it's probably a fairly large amount of okay. information. So <laughs> if you had the opportunity to build your own site, would you do that? I would. I would. Oh. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I did that. Did you really? Yes, I no. partnered with the guys at Night Fission. Night Fission, F I like nuclear fission. Oh, and, that's right. If you came, go, I'm gonna go to studentofthegun.com slash sites right now. Oh, it's slash sites? Slash sites. Ah. And accurate sites. Everything you need to know. We've got how they work. <clears throat> We've got the site height, the, this is the rear site design. We've got the uh, how to install the night vision sites. Step one, could, <sighs> I forgot I did that. That's funny. Mm. The science of site, which is a very important portion of this. Cut a hole in the box, really. You did that. What? Yeah. Step one. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we've, we've spent a lot of time trying to educate people uh, as to uh, how these things work. Because if you know what, how they work, if you know how it works, then it's easy to, to not be distracted by, like, bologna sausage. You know, all the bologna sausage and that comes out. Oh, so there we go. But contrast. Contrast is your friend when it comes to sites. And regardless of the the color or the or whatever of your gun you want your uh, sights to contrast you want them to stick out uh so when you're when you're thinking about doing that when you're 
when you're going to camouflage your gun, if you're going to like do a super cool camouflage pattern on your shotgun or whatever, that's great. I think you should do it. Just don't camouflage your sights. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. If you want it to match, you just make your sights orange and your gun camo. That's right. That's right. There you that's go. right. You make your, your gun orange and your sights camo. You could do that. <laughs> no, don't. Do well, I mean, if you, you do whatever you want, man, you're 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 a grown adult. Do whatever you want. Oh, if you're looking for a shotgun, looking for a shotgun. See, I'm looking for a shotgun. I'm looking for a shotgun that I can mount a bayonet on. Well, I tell you what. Wait, hold on. Did we talk about why contrasting colors and and whatnot? Did you get all everything you wanted to yep, say about that? That's, I got all that out of my brain. Duracoat university.com actually you go to student of the slash duracoat and you can learn how to be a pro you should learn how to be a pro no uh they have uh takarov usa which is a brand of sds imports they have a wooden stock pump action shotgun and this thing is it's pretty snazzy it's pretty nifty uh, the the tx3 the TX3 it has wooden furniture, so it kind of looks like a uh, a classic. Kind of looks like a classic shotgun, and uh, they have one of them. I'm looking. For, I'm looking for the bayonet mount. Where is, is it the, the HDM? Yeah, looking for the bayonet mount. The HDM that they've got a stainless marine version. They've got a stainless steel marine version with. Uh, are those polished? walnut stocks on i think that? so it looks nice <whistles> that's for twenty dollars more than the hd wow yeah that's pretty snazzy so if you're looking for a pump action shotgun and you only want to spend about 300 bucks for it or less uh there's the and it even it even comes with a pick rail on top if you want to real quick fast in a hurry drop a uh, red dot on there and it actually comes with sights it comes with uh rifle sights or ghost ring sights and a barrel shroud <gasps> ghost ring sights does that mean that they come on ghost guns ghost ring sights only come on ghost guns oh, okay. i think we need to pass legislation against ghost ring sights uh, <laughs> oh shazbot and i am impressed with this hdm yeah. Of TX3 HDM. That's crazy. That's crazy talk, man. That's crazy talk, man. So High Point Firearms, our buddies over there, I, I kind of feel bad for them, but are they someday, someday in the near future, they're going to update their site and it's going to, and it's going to be the brand new Yeet Cannon, the YC1 yep. um, or YC2 or whatever it's going to be called. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fun. It'll be swell. Uh, it'll be great. Gonna have the whole world on a plate. Starting here, starting now. What's everything coming up? Roses. Everything's coming up roses. Uh, they are going to be at the Gun Con. Stu or, uh, High Point's going to be at Gun Con 2022. I'm not sure when gun con is i could find out oh uh gearing up for gun con you're like what is gun con 2022 gun con 2022 powered by brownells is an un is an event unlike any other and and littering and littering and oh <laughs> people in the audience are like it already has Somebody needs to update their website. You guys up there in Ohio need to update your website because you're not gearing up to go to Gun Con because it already happened. So never mind. They were gearing up to go to Gun Con, but they're not now because <laughs> it's over. <laughs> Dave. Dave's not here, man, and I know yeah, where Dave's not. That's funny. Dave's not updating the website. That's what Dave's not doing. Uh, we're right. coming to you from the future. The future. Dave, we're in the future where GunCon has already come and gone. Jukesy.com. What? What is Jukesy's motto? Jared, what's their motto? 
Uh, there is it's your story, our technology, a better future. Better future. Your story, our technology, a better future. And I'm going to remind you guys that if you I go to. You were going to pull it out of your butt. Like, oh, oh, J-U-X-X-I. J-U-X-X-I.com. It is a video streaming platform. It has more than guns. It has survival and fishing and sports. There's a whole bunch of stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff. But what's most important, what is most important is there is a student of the gun channel. And you can go to student of the gun on Juxi. And you can subscribe. And you should subscribe. Because Juxi is a self-supporting platform. They do not rely upon Google or YouTube to support their videos. Which means... Uh, when eventually the uh, leftists in D.C. press the socialist media people to scrub and, and censor all gun, all pro-gun material on YouTube, you'll still be able to get us on Juxi.com. If you go to studentofthegun.com slash J-U-X-X-I, you will get directly to our channel. Please subscribe to it. That's right. Because Zach works hard to release all the videos there. That's right. And things that are not released on other platforms get released on Juxi. Yes. So do that. Do that. All right. Now I'm going to be quiet. And if you're a new listener or if you're an old listener or whatever, if you're listening, pay attention. Attention new listeners. We produced a complimentary online training course called Seven Training Tips That Could Save Your Life. Get instant access by joining the Student Lounge for free at studentofthegun.com. Do you watch Student of the Gun TV, read the blog, and follow us on Facebook? If you answered no to any of these questions, you are wrong, but you can easily fix yourself. Go to studentofthegun.com to find everything SOTG. All right, fans of fiction. Are you guys fans of fiction? Uh, if you're not a fan of fiction, well, then just, I don't know, go get some coffee or whatever. But I, I didn't used to be, but I am now. If you are, yeah, until you, it's when you realize that, that fiction actually tells youth useful stories that you can apply to your, your current life. Yeah. It's almost like they figured that out uh, 10,000 years ago. <laughs> How old is the Iliad in the Odyssey? Yeah, old. It's old. Uh, it's old. That was fiction, but, but that should... fiction told invaluable life lesson stories. Yeah. You say, all right, I, that's nice and all. And what does that have to do with student of the gun? I'm going to tell you what it has to do with student of the gun. Calm down. Our good friend, Nicholas Orr, you know our boy, Nick. Our good friend, Nicholas Orr, he did a thing. He did a thing. He put together his first three books from the operator series book one book two book three into a trilogy into a trilogy called field ops and it's book one two three and you can get them all right now uh in a large book you can get them on a kindle or you can get them as a paperback and a lot of people have if you read the comments people say uh, they'll say things like in the books about I, I sat down and read the whole thing in one sitting, couldn't stop or, uh, you know, when do I get the next book? And, you know, I read the first one or read the second one or whatever. And, uh, you know, there you go. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you would, if you're a fan of fiction, uh, and I would hope that you would be, um, check out our boy Nicholas or. Uh, he's got a book called Field Ops. It is the trilogy, so you can read the first story, and then you don't have to wait. You can just roll right into the because they're written as a series. Uh, you know, the one goes into the next, goes into the next. You, if you trust me, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy it. All right, Brownells bullet points brought to you by Brownells. Bing, bang, boom. Brownells bullet points brought to you by Brownells. Brownells.com. Now, they're always coming up with new, cool, interesting things at Brownells.com. And uh, something they started, jeez. Oh, I can't. I, I guess it was about 10 years ago that they started the 
Brownells branded products when it comes to firearms accessories. Now, they've been doing Brownells branded stuff for a long time, but what they started doing was actually manufacturing parts, whether it was 1911 magazines or bolt and bolt carrier groups or slides or whatever under the Brownells banner, right? Well, they went from making parts to making complete guns and one of the most interesting things at least to me that they have done over the last decade is they released their retro line of guns and one of the guns that they re they resurrected essentially uh is the what well, that's called the brn 180 and what the brn 180 is is it's a copy uh it's a licensed um replica reproduction of the original armalite 18 or the armalite 180 if you're not familiar with the armalite 18 or the armalite 180 you should get familiar with it uh it's a very famous design it was designed by stoner gene stoner and his team it was designed, designed by a stoner by a stoner yep uh when he they did the ar-15 and the, he did the ar-10 and the ar-15 and and so on and so forth and he did the ar-18 uh, and the AR-180. AR, AR stands for Armalite rifle. rifle. The, he, it was the Armalite company. AR stands for Armalite Rifle Model 15, 18, whatever. So what Brownells is doing is they're manufacturing brand new uppers and lowers, um, and one of the things they're doing now, they just lost their minds and they came out with a brand new Gen 2, 10 and a half inch barrel, 7.62 by 39 millimeter BRN 180 upper. That is awesome. So you can make a rifle caliber pistol with that. And in addition to Royal that, Canadian Police. Yeah, Royal Canadian Police, rifle caliber pistol, RCP. Uh, but there's an M in there. They're not mounted, though. Yeah, they're not mounted. It's the unmounted. Yeah, it's, it's the, the unmounted Royal ones. Canadian unmounted police. The unmounted ones. Yeah, the unmounted ones are the Stasi. They're the ones that go around uh, confiscating people's airsoft guns because it might be a firearm. Well, that happens in New York, too. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, okay, maybe not that exact specific thing, but a toy gun that is. Yeah. For those so, of you that don't know. The, we you talked don't know. about that on a different show. Yeah. You gotta keep up, man. Go back and listen. Yeah, go back. Yeah, keep it was up. Within the last five months, so yeah. go back and listen. To the most recent five months. So the BRN it was actually last week, but the BRN one eighty. The interesting thing about the BRN one eighty is the fact that it has a different recoil system than an AR fifteen. It does not require a buffer tube or and so forth. That's uh, a new cool invention. Yeah, it's a Gene Stoner came up with that like only sixty years ago. Um, <laughs> hmm. so the, the Armalite, the Armalite 180 has, it doesn't require a buffer or a buffer tube. And so because of that, what Stoner was able to do is he was able to come up with a folding stock version. And what Brownells has done is they have an upgraded the, apparently the original one wasn't as tight as they wanted it to be. So they, uh, they upgraded it. And those are available right now for a with a double dose. D for a double dose of pimping. Um, and you can get those right now. So the, the folding stocks for the, the BRN 180, it says a Picatinny mount. It goes directly onto the back of your rifle. So if you have a rifle that has a pick mount at the, at the rear of it, uh, you can put one of these. It's really cool. I, I, as a firearms kind of a historian, I don't know if I'm a historian. Uh, I'm just a dude who's been paying attention to the gun world for 40 years. Uh, I'm kind of excited about that. I actually, uh, I, you know what I wish they would do, though, Jared, is I, if I could have my wish, my wish would be that they would make an upper with the polymer. I know why they did it with the aluminum, because people, modern Americans have to, screw and attach stuff to their guns but the original one just had a polymer uh four end what about ancient americans yeah yeah ancient americans Is that different than modern Americans? yeah ancient americans modern americans the current crop of modern americans they have to you know they have to have stuff so they accommodated you but uh, 
Yeah, because the you you say, well, I'll just buy an original AR one eighty. <laughs> Will you now? Is that your plan? Well, I don't want to buy one from them. I'm just gonna I'm gonna buy an original. So <laughs> it's kind of like the people that are gonna save up their money and they're gonna buy a dragon off. They're not gonna buy a PSL. They're gonna buy a dragon off. Like, well, let me know how that works out for you. Let me know how that works out for you. Uh, did you find one for sale? I'm looking. Oh, uh, if you find one for sale, a I'm going to be impressed. Oh, I think I might have found one. And uh, on Gunbroker. Hmm. Well, you you find out. And let me know. Yeah, there. <laughs> the Armalite company stopped making these a long, 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 long time ago. So if you can find an original, uh, you say, what's the, the difference between the 180 and the 18? Uh, select fire. Here we go. AR 180. It's in California. It's uh, $2,125. Wow. That's actually not bad. Yeah. Is it neutered? Sold three months ago. It's got to be. No, it, it's not. Mm, it was sold three months ago. No, it wasn't sold three months ago. It, oh, yeah. It was sold three months ago. So it's not for sale anymore. My mind read something else, but my lips said the right thing. <laughs> There's another one here that was sold three months ago. It was twenty two thousand nine hundred and twenty eight dollars. Yeah. Well, you can get the parts and components to make a BRN one eighty uh, for far less than two thousand dollars. Yes. So I would say for less than a thousand dollars, you can, or I guess right around a thousand dollars if you wanted to assemble it, put it together, and make it and so forth. But uh, oh, there's a tab that's for sale. There are zero. There's, there's a total of zero for sale. So I guess this is just <laughs> helping you find the value of the thing. You have. Yeah, but uh, if you're looking for something new, cool, different, interesting, the BRN one eighty from Brownells is a, is a pretty darn slick. Uh, item uh, i think it's one of the coolest things i think they've done in a long long time so there you go our boys at brown owls all right now uh, oh and make sure that you're subscribing or uh, not subscribing that you text brn to five five six two two three five five six two two three there you go all right and uh, zach by the way i am connected so i see your what you're messaging me there all right. If you guys would like, uh, you can listen to what Zach has to say. ShopSOTG.com is the perfect place to go if you are a student of the gun. Whether you want to expand your brain, increase your marksmanship, or help keep your family safe. All that, plus the pimp hand brands that you love. ShopSOTG.com has almost anything that an American patriot would want education, enlightenment, and entertainment, and we're open 24-7. Check out ShopSOTG.com today and see for yourself. Yep, that's what you should do. That always slaps me in the face. I don't know what it always does. All right, we're going to have a student of the gun homeroom, and what is the theme of the homeroom, Jared? To be dangerous on demand. To be dangerous on demand, and it is brought to you each and every week by our good buddies at CrossbreedHolsters.com. Dangerous by Madison Rising. Dangerous on demand. And if you guys go to crossbreedholsters.com, uh, if you go to www.sudenofthegun slash crossbreed, uh, use the promo code SOTG when you check out. You're going to get a high quality holster, belt, uh, belly band, whatever. And you're going to save money. It's made in the USA. They have a custom shop. If you guys are all, if you're looking for something a little bit different, cool, uh, standoutish, they actually have. You can get your Kydex, the the Kydex gun po- pocket portion in different colors and different camouflage schemes. Uh, one of the things that they did recently is they did a taco. They did a taco one. That's a limited edition. So if you didn't get your taco one, then, then uh, well, you got to pay attention, man. So now you can get tropical terrain tattoo camo. Old, you can get an old glory one that looks like uh, 
looks like a a flag and so on and so forth. If you want to, if you want to stand out, you want to be unique. Like I want to be unique. And and if you're a chick, and uh, you want a floral pattern, they've got like some kind of a funky floral thing, like flowers. I guess that's called tropical. I guess the one with the flowers is called tropical. So, or if you're a dude, you know, if you're into tropical stuff, I don't care. Do whatever you want to do, man. Just know that that uh, Crossbreed Holster's got you covered. All right, let's talk about being dangerous on demand. Lethal force versus non-lethal or less than lethal force. Oh, uh, I was, I think it was on our Student of the Gun. Uh, it was on our Student of the Gun YouTube channel. And this suggested video popped up. It was over on the side. And I was like, hmm, what is this all about? So I, I clicked on it, which was probably a mistake. But uh, there's a company out there selling a a double shot. And I don't know what they propel it with, like compressed nitrogen or something. It can't be gunpowder because if it's gunpowder, that makes it a firearm. So it has to be something like compressed nitrogen or whatever. Uh, and it shoots the super magical pepper ball type thingies right well and you say okay cool paul i mean what's wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that that's you know something people should have here's the problem what's the problem paul i'm gonna tell you the problem is is the marketing for these is reckless you see they market these items these pepper ball shooters and so forth they're marketing to people not as a an addition to your lethal force plan no they market them to people it as opposed to you don't want to carry a gun right carry guns are scary and 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 guns are mean and and if you shoot someone with a gun you'll get in trouble well give us four hundred dollars and we'll sell you this two-shot pepper ball gun and you can use it to stop all threats two-legged and four-legged no you can't that's not how that works if someone is going to stab you or shoot you or a dog's going to latch a hold of your leg here's do we understand that by now jared do you think the audience understands that there's a difference between an aggressive animal and an animal that is attacking you yes an aggressive animal one that's just like and it you know you need to get in the house, but there's this dog, and it's over there, and it's like, and it won't let you get close. An aggressive animal animal doesn't have to be attacking you, right? But an attacking animal is aggressive. Well, yeah, I, mean, I would say that if it's in the process of chewing your leg off, it's probably aggressive. Yeah. Uh, an aggressive animal, you can juice it with pepper spray, and it will nine times out of ten fornicate in a different direction. An animal that has begun attacking is not going to stop because you sprayed it and it's not going to stop because you pepper balled it um it's only going to stop if you i guess stab it through the throat uh or shoot it okay that's reality that is reality and unfortunately when people sell this snake oil type stuff now jared you've been pepper sprayed right and, and you've been tasered would you choose those instead of a gun yeah absolutely yeah come on don't say stuff like that because people listening oh you mean not as a receiver <laughs> I no i were, mean yeah i thought you meant as a would receiver. you rather be pepper sprayed than receiver. shot Heck no 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 yeah. like as a defensive tool would I, you decide i'm not going to carry my gun i'm going to carry this no. taser no no i would and and people are like are you trying to say the taser doesn't work no, no the taser does work but here's saying. the deal when police officers carry tasers they don't they don't leave their there, guns at home there's and that creates its own issue as we've seen in in the uh, uh use of force scenarios for police but there's this thing called the use of force continuum have you addressed that already um multiple times i mean on the show not, right no, now where no. we have new people listening yeah, the use of force continuum or justifiable use of force. The problem is, is that what people do with these pepper ball things or whatever 
is they're like, well, I'm going to use that instead of a gun because it's just as good. No, it's not. That's not how that works. And you think you're being a nice guy, and what you're actually doing is setting yourself up to be murdered. I'm pulling this use of force continuum directly from the NIJ okay. uh, website so that I can give the exact uh, thing. Now, yeah. we, we kind of modify this and, and make it, f- this is for officers and whatnot yeah. on this site, but we've modified it and made it for concealed carriers, but you'll get the point here. So the use of force continuum is the officer presence, mm-hmm. no force is used. Verbalization, force is not physical. Empty hand control, officer use bodily force to gain control of a situation. Less lethal method, methods, officer use uh, leth- less lethal technologies to gain control of a situation. And then the last one is lethal force. So it's the same thing. If you're a concealed carrier, you have your presence, you have the verbalization, stop. Mm-hmm. Empty hand control, so if you have to go hand to hand, then less than lethal and the lethal force. Now, sometimes you have to skip some of these because yeah. the other person might have lethal force already, so you have to go directly from uh, presence to lethal force, but that's something that you get training, and then you know what you have to deploy when you deploy it. Wow. I had no idea. I learned the use of force continuum and, and how to apply it and everything like when I was in the police academy. I had no idea that when you typed it in. Oh, yeah. There's so many things. It's holy cow yeah one of the biggest uh, problems that that people encounter is they fall into this weird belief well basically people don't have training is that in order to be justified you have to use all of them yeah like you have to like well you didn't use verbal or attempt non-lethal before you shot him so you're ill you broke the law and like no that's like they don't that's expect not, you no. to use empty hands to combat somebody that's pointing that, at yeah or you. trying to hit you in the head with a hammer you can use it there i know he's trying to hit you in the head with a hammer but you need to no, use de-escalation a, techniques he's first. 100 yards away with a hammer it's a little bit different yeah no but if he's 100 yards away from a hammer he couldn't hear you talking anyway but Ladies and gentlemen, there there are obviously room for things like pepper spray and tasers and so on and so forth. But the, what's most dangerous, and, and this product I'm talking about was given the product of the year by uh, a company that makes me cringe. We've got, so we won't mention them. So we've got this uh, course here that we've produced and we've had it for a while. It's called Force Options, How to Defend Yourself Without a Weapon. If you're interested in less lethal techniques, go to shopsotg.com. Zach, can you create a promo code for this specific product? Yes. For this specific episode? So if you just make the promo code EP1148 and do 50% off for the listening audience. There you go. Wow, that's pretty righteous of us. Yeah, you're welcome. So uh, we're going uh, to put it in the show notes for you, but you got to understand you guys need to take training and you under, need to understand that these that there's these magic widgets that they sell you and i mean this these mother lovers want 400 bucks for their for their freaking less than lethal widget and if you if you're going to spend 400 bucks just buy a gun and you're like well but not everything can be shot no not everything sure. can be shot but if you you spend 1995 on fox pepper spray fox uh the fox pepper spray will kick you right in the scrotum if you already have a gun yeah. and uh and you're looking at buying one of those things spend that 400 dollars, put it towards training yeah put it on train put it put it towards training uh yeah the f- we, can, you get we the can't highly options, recommend enough yeah the, if you get the, the force Fox options products. course and you put that 400 dollars towards training you'll still have 385 dollars left yeah so shop sotg.com use the promo code ep1148 yeah so there you go. Uh, there you go. All right. So that is my advice to you regarding is we, we don't try and substitute less than lethal for lethal force. Just try, try because we're trying to be nice or whatever. That's how you get your skull smashed in and you don't get to be alive anymore. All right. Are we good on that? Uh, yeah, I think so. I just got a mustache hair in my mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, it's out the now. worst. <laughs> All right. Gun control is built upon lies. They know it. They know that they're lying. This there there is no there's like, no, they're just mistaken. 
They're just ignorant. No, they're lying. You need to understand that there are people that are that are in our government that are not your friends, that are not honest people. They are liars. They want their way. They've decided that because they won a popularity contest, that they tricked enough people in their district into voting for them. Now they get to supersede and override the Constitution, and they get to pass laws that do nothing. And here's the thing, Jared. This this assault weapons ban, sem- what no one has ever been able to explain and what the media is not asking is, how is this going to stop crime? What is this going to do to address the issue of crime in America? Well, well, it's not. It's See, this bill is not about punishing or stopping criminals. It's about taking law-abiding citizens and putting them into a position where they are criminals. No, it's to help save, if it just saves one life. And yeah, I mean, that lie, the exact same people that are trying to disarm you because the children just had a collective meant they just had a collective nationwide breakdown over the idea that they might not be able to murder infant babies on demand the exact same people who believe that killing a newborn infant is a woman's health care right want you to be disarmed to save the children it's lies all right so the first one we have here uh we have a a uh, this guy's becoming famous for his lies uh and his his name is like Cicilline or Cellini or Cicilline. he's a scumbag piece of human filth here here's your action item as the listener this is dumb right this what this dude is going to say is dumb and it's worth making fun of however if you're in a situation where you've got friends around you or you're making fun of what this guy's saying, make sure that you preface it with they're using these lies to disarm us. So yes. they're taking this seriously. We can't not take this seriously. Yes. We have to take it seriously. So he's about to explain to you how a stabilizing and see, this is what happens when we allow them to create demons. And, and Trump's wrong. People are like, yeah, well, well, Trump in the bump stock. I never said he was right. I never said it was a good thing. I'm not a Trump worshiper. If, if I worship anything, and I don't, but if I, if I am behind anything, I'm behind the rule of law. I'm behind the Constitution. Oh, I don't care. I thought you were going to say the Lord. Our yeah, Lord well, Jesus no, I mean, yeah, that's true. But, you know, from a, this standpoint, I'm not look I'm not looking to the president of the United States to be my savior. It's just that guy is just supposed to be a place keeper. He's supposed to the job of the president is to support and defend the constitution, not circumvent it or go around it. Yeah. Here is I'm going to drop this in the show notes before Zach plays this audio, but there's an article that was written by this dude his name is uh, Professor Paul Markle. You guys might have heard of him. It's on studentofthegun.com. It's called 2016 Presidential Campaign Searching for a Savior. And if you would like an expansive explanation of what Dad was just talking about, you can go get it at that article. There you go. So this is what we this is what happens when we allow lies to go unchecked. Listen to this imbecile. You got it up, Zach? You got it ready? Uh, yes. Do I just start from the very beginning? Yeah, just it's not it shouldn't be that long of a clip. It's so this nine is minutes long. Oh, whoa, no, no, no. Personaldefenseworld.com? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this guy it, it's oh. It's the only video on this on this page. Oh man. Interesting. Just go go ahead and start, start it. Start playing it. Yeah, start playing it. So this guy's um representative Siciliani Siciliani, the freaking, and he's holding up a poster and he's pointing to it and he's like, this is a stabilizing brace and that's a, and that, and that's like a bump stocking. Well, listen to his own words. Yeah, so he's going to play the thing. Siciliani, sick recognition. I move to strike the last word. Gentlemen, is recognized. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I rise in opposition to the amendment. What this 
stabilizing brace, which is depicted here, when, a, when attached here, it turns this weapon into an automatic weapon. This bumps, it becomes a bump stock. And so it will allow that to essentially be fired like an automatic weapon. That's the danger. So I have to very strongly oppose the amendment. Yeah, you can stop it right there. Flat out lie. Yeah. So Siciliani holds up a poster. That's only one lie, though. Clearly, he just didn't have the information. Holds up a poster, and he's like, well, when you you attach it, the thing is, he knows he's lying. And he's like crafting his lie. He's like, well, it's, it's, it's uh, uh, when you attach it, attach it to what? Uh, it, it acts like it, it, it turns it into an automatic weapon. What? Because the, the they're trying to make stabilizing braces. Uh, they're trying to outlaw them. Right. Even though for the last 10 years, they're like, oh, yeah, they're fine. And I don't know. And what what heck came later on is one of the, the uh, uh, congressmen, uh, congressman, uh, I, one, I can't remember who it was. He said he shook his head and laughed. He goes, the Internet is about to prove you wrong. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, he shouldn't have said the Internet. I don't know why yeah, he Republican congressmen are such cowards. I would have said, stop, point of order. What you just said is a lie. I lied. Can they not call out lies? So when you're in Congress, if somebody gets up and they they fargan write the damn time down Two when times. they they freaking lie, and and you know they're lying, you 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 just have to let it go. Well, I mean, my colleague here just told a bald faced lie, but. I, I can't say anything because because then that will make me mean spirited. No, that is a lie. It is a straight up lie. And what's going to happen and what has happened is every time these guys go out and they tell a lie, their sycophant scumbag allies at CNBC and MSNBC and not, what they do is they're like, oh, yeah, just uh, uh, today uh, on the floor, Congressman Cicilline came out and he's like explained how the, the, the stabilizing brace, you never heard of one before, but it turns, it's the same thing as a bump stock. And you're like, you never heard of that before. Well, well it turns the gun into an automatic weapon. And one goes, oh, we can't allow that. There's no reason in the world why an American citizen should be allowed to have that. First of all, where exactly in the Constitution of the United States of America does it make it your business what I own? Uh, It doesn't. Yes, I am. And uh, what you could point out, if you had a person in your presence that was willing to listen to, I don't know, historical fact and reason, You'd say, you know, in 1930, if I had a stack of cash, if I had $200 in disposable income, I could walk into a hardware store in America and I could purchase a full auto Thompson submachine gun and walk out that day. I could buy a Colt fully automatic rifle. I could buy a Browning, a BAR. Now, BAR actually stands for Browning Assault Rifle. Or no, it stands for Browning Automatic Rifle. I could buy a Browning Automatic Rifle. A thirty out 6 Browning Automatic Rifle. If I had cash, I could walk into a hardware store or a gun store or whatever, and I could buy that, give the guy the cash, and walk out. How many school shootings... How many school massacres occurred in the 30s and the 20s? Well, what do you mean? Well, how many happened? Well, none, obviously. So hold on a second. There was a time, and you know there was, the, the background check was you shaking the hand of the, of the guy over the counter. That was the background check. So the background check was, I have money, I'm a citizen, and you are a gun seller i give you the money you give me the gun and i walk out that was it how many school shootings 
were committed by people with automatic weapons, with machine guns in the United States of America. Well, okay, zero, but what's your point? What's my point is this. There was a time in the United States that a citizen could walk into a store, buy a machine gun, and walk out. How many mall shootings, church shootings, school shootings did we have in the United States when American citizens could buy machine guns legally over the counter? The answer is none. The answer is zero. Well, what's your point? My point is this. It's super simple if you'd be willing to listen. It's, it's not the object. It's not the gun. It's the people. What have we done to our nation? And this bill, if it goes through, it will do nothing to stop crime. Crime will continue. Violent crime will continue. Do you really think that the gangbangers in, in Chicago and D.C. and Philadelphia uh, and New Orleans are going to be affected in any way by this? They've already proven that they don't care. No. Because there's they're already every criminals. single three-day weekend, there's a record-breaking murder or shootings or it's, it's not murder more, it's, more, it's just shootings well i mean uh, in real, chicago real, real quick funny thing so i was just going through facebook the other day just you know on the couch or whatever and i i came across somebody shared a story that said a 13 year old boy shot by woman after after attempting to break into her car and pull and pointing a gun at her and i was like oh that's crazy and i clicked on it and said chicago i was like that makes sense <laughs> uh, yeah well, the, the same the same weekend that the, the Greenwood Mall shooting happened, twice as many people were murdered and 10 times as many people were injured in Chicago by gang related gunfire. But they won't they don't talk about that. Nobody has the guts to walk to raise their hand and say in the United States of America, Citizens could walk into a gun store, buy a machine gun, and walk out, and we had no mass murders. Well, yes, we did. Well, what about the gangland? Ah! So, the only mass murders that were committed were committed by organized crime. Were committed by criminals. Well, yeah. So because criminals, because gang members are killing each other, then you and I as citizens have to be restricted and punished. Let's let's go to uh, the the next lie. So they sent before they put the meat puppet into hiding. And we're going to talk about that uh, during the bonus hour before they sent the meat puppet into hiding before he fell off his bicycle like a mongoloid. They sent him out to perpetuate this lie did hold on a second did you see just a quick aside about the bicycle thing did you see that it's now a tourist thing where people yes i saw that <laughs> yeah. people are going there and laying their bikes over and getting their pictures taken yeah <laughs> like it's funny but it's also not it's funny pathetic that we're that, we're we're that far that we're, is it's we're that the united states now embarrassingly pathetic yeah so you remember when sniffy joe the meat puppet when they instructed him to go out and say these these insanely idiotic words because because now all you have to do if you're a congressman is say i talked to a doctor and a, and the doctor told me i i remember i i uh, i don't remember when it was but but i, I sat down with a trauma doctor no, you didn't. When did you do that? Right after you confronted Corn Pop, you lying scumbag. And first of all, if this doctor told him this, then they need to be disbarred. The fact is that people that are shot with handguns in the United States, 75% of them walk out of the hospital on their in their of their own power and volition within 24 hours or 48 hours but that's that doesn't sell the the mantra and i wondered where we were going with this so 
Biden wants he wants to ban high caliber nine millimeter handguns. That's a whatever that means. I don't know what a high caliber nine millimeter handgun is, but does does it really matter? We just listen listen to what the the imbecile meat puppet said about a nine millimeter high caliber handgun. Play the audio, please. What Ratchet's doing hearings on the issue of what rational gun laws should be. It was during a period when I was a senator and the death rate was going up. Not that many more people were being shot, but the death rate was up. And I went, I think it was, a, I'm not sure, I think it was Hahnemann Hospital in New York, whatever the largest trauma hospital is. And I sat with a trauma doctor. And I asked him, I said, what's the difference? Why are so many people, they're not, not that many more people are being shot. This is now 20 years ago, 25 years I said, why are they dying? And they showed me a, 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 a x-ray. He said, a 22 caliber bullet will lodge in a lung, and we can probably get it out, maybe able to get it, and save the life. A 9 millimeter bullet blows the lung out of the body. So the idea of these high caliber weapons is of, there is simply no rational basis for it in terms of what this is about self-protection, money. Money. Dear God hey. in heaven. So, uh, first of all, why do they do these interviews in front of a running helicopter? For that's one thing. Why, why do they? Why do they interview him with a in front of a, a helicopter that's winding up its engines? So the imbecile meat puppet said, "I talked to a trauma doctor, and he said a nine millimeter bullet blows the lungs out of the body." The idea of these high caliber weapons, there's no rational basis for it in terms of self-protection. Joe, 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 Joe. The other thing was money. Has no basis in self-protection or money. What? What? No, or you know, um, or hunting. He said hunting. No, he said money. He said money? That's what it said in the oh. in the little uh what do you call those closed captions? I think they, he said hunting, but uh, that could, yeah, that yeah makes sense. And he and he says the Second Amendment is never absolute. You can't buy a cannon. You couldn't. This is when he said you couldn't buy a cannon when the Second Amendment was passed. Yes, you could. You couldn't go out and purchase a lot of weapons. Yes, you could. There was no restrictions. Okay, the militias, which were the people, which were the citizens, not the government, had cannon. They had the same rifles. They had the same freaking muskets as the the British. But the idea, and did, and does anybody raise their hand and say, hey, Joe, what? Are you protected with Secret Service? By the Secret Service? Yeah. Why? Yeah, but they're carrying a forty-five. No, they're not. They're carrying Sig two two sixes with nine millimeter. With the high caliber nine millimeter. They're Joe's personal bodyguards. Oh, he's gonna blow the lungs are, out of people. Are carrying nine mil. There's no rational basis for self protection for a high caliber weapon like a nine millimeter. Joe, do you know that the number one issued cartridge for American law enforcement is the nine millimeter? So you're telling me that you think it's good that the state has a gun that will blow your lungs out. I thought that was bad, Joe. Dear God. So idiot Joe on May 30th goes out and makes this stellar statement about how we need to ban high caliber nine millimeter handguns that hold more than 10 rounds. What? What are you even saying? You imbecile. You don't even know what you're saying. So that's the solution. I figured out how to kill COVID. What? Shoot it with nine yeah, millimeter, nine millimeter bullets. You yeah. blow the lungs out, blow the lungs out. So that happened on May 30th. So two or three days ago, a, a genius congresswoman uh, took to Congress 
she took to the floor. Now she she gets in and it's her turn to talk, right? So she rambles on about all kinds of nonsense. This is only a minute and forty six, so we could play the whole thing. Yeah, go go ahead and and and, pl- and this this hurts me. Uh, the listening to the lies of these people. So Joe said on May thirtieth that he talked to a trauma doctor, and the trauma doctor told him that if someone gets shot with a high caliber like a nine millimeter, it blows their lungs out. They have no chance of survival. So listen to this this genius. Listen to another Democrat liar telling lies. There's a reason that we never see the images after a mass shooting. There's a reason that the screams of little boys and little girls in Uvalde were edited out of the video that everyone in this room has surely seen. I've spoken to doctors throughout the years who have spent time in emergency rooms. Our handguns, they tell me, often create small and very subtle wounds, wounds that can even be difficult to find. Assault weapons are a completely different story. When the call comes into the hospital, doctors are told to prepare for a mass casualty, casualty event. Nurses are asked to find every gurney and wheelchair that they can find. The medical staff call every surgeon that they can contact. The dead and the dying arrive in waves. Doctors assign the wounded a color. Green means flesh wound. These patients will survive without treatment. Yellow means a bullet in the chest, and they could die within the hour. Red means these children or churchgoers or parents or patrons have only minutes to live. The trauma surgeons see them first. Black means that there's no longer a reason to spend effort or resources on the corpse coming through the doors. Floors in these hospitals begin to look more like a battlefield. Doctors turned army medics doing everything they can to stop the bleeding and to remove bullets and body parts that will keep patients alive. The doctors must deal ceaselessly with the pain and panic of the frightened victims many of them terrified at the blood on their clothes, praying to their God that they will not die. Their God, not God, but their God. Okay, so then her text in here, she didn't even say the thing that was in the text. It says, with the assault rifles, exit wounds can be a foot wide. So victim's skull explodes on impact. Organs rupture, bones shatter, the shards serve as shrapnel and tear tissue to pieces. There is a reason we never see the images after a mass murder. Many of the bodies no longer exist. So this genius, first of all, what about what she just said justifies the disarming of 330 million American citizens? What about what she just said justifies that? First of all, it's, 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 pandering it turns into a i i really am a as someone who's been in war it is offensive to me when these scumbag politicians talk about it's a battlefield it's a war zone it's a no it's not and you don't know what you're talking about and you're a liar she tweeted to her imbecile followers there's a reason you don't see the images from after a mass murder. The bodies no longer exist. The victim's skull explodes on impact. Really? But she said that handguns leave a relatively small wound. So she but, talked to trauma doctors. But Joe said... He talked to a trauma doctor who said that the lung, it blows their lungs out. The largest out. trauma hospital in America, he said. Yeah, the largest trauma hospital in America. In New York. And he told me. Or in New York. In New, that, that it blows the lungs out. That's why they have no chance of survival. And then Sugar Bridges here says, oh, well, with a handgun, it's, you know, many of they don't even know. And then, and, and, well, hang on a second. Your, your boss there just said uh the head of your party just said that it blows the lungs out which is it 
And what nobody says to Ms. McBath here is uh, McFly. Aren't those the exact same guns carried by the police? The same guns you want to ban and make illegal for American citizens to own are the same guns that you think the police should have to shoot the people. Isn't that hypocritical? Why do you think that members of the state, that employees of the state, should have these horrible, monstrous man killers? Why is that a good idea? Nobody asks that. Nobody asks them these questions. Um, someone might raise their hand and say, hey, Miss McBath, you say that these black rifles, these AR-15s, these two, two, three, is it's so powerful and it makes their heads explode. As a matter of fact, their bodies no longer exist. Yeah, that's what's said. Right it, they no longer exist. So if that's the case, why is did the U.S. Army just allocate six billion that's with a b six billion dollars to replace that cartridge with a larger cartridge what what's a cartridge so the 556 the 223 is so powerful that it it vaporizes the body of who it hits it makes the skull explode the bodies no longer exist it's so powerful that the that the army is going to spend six billion dollars replacing it with a different cartridge with a larger one because the army said it's not powerful enough <laughs> so the united states army and the u.s pentagon said hey we need a cool six billion to buy all new 6.8 cartridges why because the 556 isn't powerful enough but i thought it vaporized i thought the 556 vaporized people well it only vaporizes people if it's in the hand of an 18 year old democrat if it's in the hand of an 18 year old u.s army soldier it's not powerful enough and we need to buy new stuff you see in just 30 minutes, we demonstrated a, the lies, the purposeful, deliberate lies. It doesn't matter what the truth is. What matters is that they disarm you and that they control you. That's what matters. And if they have to go to the House, do they have to, if they have to go to the floor of the House of Representatives and look into a camera and lie... That's what they'll do. They'll, but, but they'll say they talk to a doctor. I talked to a doctor, and he said it becomes a battlefield. Okay. What happens when a school bus crashes? Do they do, they do the exact same thing that, that Susie just said here? Well, but that's different. Mm-hmm okay sure maybe you might want to control your democrat voters and keep them from going into churches and schools and and malls and killing people maybe you might want to do that maybe you might want to answer a question for me why is it that when the american people could go into a hardware store and legally buy machine guns that in the united states of america we had zero mass murders in churches schools malls whatever According to your logic, no one should have gotten out of the 20s or 30s alive. What's the difference? And what will be the difference after you pass this bill? What will this bill do to stop Democrats from murdering innocent people? Well, nothing, but it'll punish the heck out of Trump voters. Because, you know, all them Trump voters are all like country boy, redneck gun owners. And we've been trying to punish them for years. We've been trying to figure out a way to punish Trump voters for years. And if we can punish them by telling them that they can't have that gun or they're gonna, we're going to take it away or whatever, that's what we're going to do. <sighs> 
Zachary. Howdy. Turn What's your up? microphone on, What's you up? freak. All right. So Thursday, which Thursday. is this airs on Wednesday. That is correct. Thursday is the next day. Yes, it is. On the calendar, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're still tracking. Yeah. All right. We have this little thing called the Student of the Gun University podcast. Yes, indeed. Now, can you tell the audience, the fans, what to expect on Thursday's Student of the Gun University podcast? Oh, you bet that I absolutely can if you give me a second. <laughs> well, I went to you because you're the producer and you make it happen, so I figured I'd just let you you know, tell them. I don't remember which one is scheduled. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you say a lot of things, Dad. Yes, I know indeed. I do say a lot. All right, of yes, things. indeed. We have the struggle for mediocrity. Is the episode that's going to be coming out about why it is that people try so hard to maintain mediocrity? Why are there so many people that desperately want, you know, C plus I'll to be it. the average? Yeah, yeah. So that's that's coming up tomorrow on Thursday. Uh, Thursday's Student of the Gun University podcast, which is separate from this show. It is a short form, single topic, easy to digest podcast. Uh, Student of the Gun University. Uh, and if you guys ha- have have not noticed, uh, I've been writing a lot of books lately. A lot of books. We we had a we already well we you know what Jared, we only did the after action for the grad program people after action of the training. Oh. The training after action. So this is public. This is the first public show we were we have done and recorded since we went uh, to That's Vernal true. and did our traumatic medicine beyond the band aid stop yeah. the bleeding. Uh, so uh, we're going to tell you guys real quick uh, after action for those of you that missed it or weren't in the grad program. Uh, had a fantastic weekend. We trained forty five American citizens of all ages and sexes well, there's only two sexes male and female um and uh, yeah old young you know men women children teenagers whatever uh how to well help save their their loved ones and and keep them from dying so uh or prevent them from dying because you see in uvalde what she didn't mention was the screams of the little boys and girls as police officers stood out in the hallway and and check their phones and sanitize their hands yeah that's an i mean i might have an aneurysm if i go into this but what nobody asked her is like uh yeah why is there a video of p- police officers standing in the hallway they edited out the screams of the children I like how she made that a bad thing. Like, what? That? Who wants to listen to the screams of the children um, while watching the video? Nobody. Yeah, they edited them out. Why did that even exist? You know that that guy could have been stopped before he entered the building. We know no, for a fact. You can't stop a person with a rifle with a pistol. No, the you guy had a rifle. You can't use a pistol to stop. Can you use a rifle to stop a rifle? No. It was impossible to stop that person. Yeah, once someone is holding an AR-15, you can't stop it. Yeah, them. they have this cone of protection. No one, no one said to her, "Hey, um, that's." I'm glad you brought up Uvalde, and I'm glad you brought up. Let's talk about the absolute colossal failure of the state government to keep people safe. Let's talk about 376 police officers. That's right, the state of Texas is investigating that they found by the time that incident wrapped there were 376 police officers in and around the school and yet the killing went on for an hour yeah let's talk Susie McBath let's talk about that so when you disarm us you're going to disarm us because why because we and we don't need guns because why what's their favorite thing to say because the police will be there. oh because you did that's why we have 911 and that's why the police and you, it's the police's job to save you like they did in uvalde well we're not going to talk about that part we're only going to talk about the part that helps us disarm you it's a three-sided coin that they flip it's either uh, the police are all racist and we need to defund them to help cut down on what what is it internal what what is it uh, the, institutionalized the, what, racism institutionalized racism B 
you don't need a gun because we have the police. Or C, nothing because it doesn't fit either of those things. Yeah. So the same people, the same Democrats that believe the police are systemically racist and we need to defund them and that it's the police is it's the fault of the police that we have riots in America. We wouldn't have riots if it wasn't for the police. So but you shouldn't be allowed to own certain guns because you don't need them for self-defense or protection because that's why we have the police. Which lie are you going to this? The answer is. Which lie are you going to tell me today, Democrat congressman? Which lie is the media going to tell you today? And are you, as an American citizen, willing to allow yourself to be disarmed and enslaved by liars? Go find a mirror, stare into it, and ask yourself, Will I allow myself as a citizen of the United States to be disarmed by liars? The answer is either yes or no. And the great thing about being born in the United States of America and even living today is it's a choice. No, it's not a choice. I have to. If you say to me, you have to be disarmed, then you've made the choice. You can make there's more of us than there are of them. You know that, right? Have you counted it up? There are millions more of us than there are of them. If we as American citizens say, you know what? We read the instructions. We read the rules. And you just broke the rules. You violated the rules. And so, no, I don't think. Remember that scene from uh, from Tombstone where Wyatt Earp says to Johnny Behan, I don't think I'm going to let you arrest me today, Johnny. Yeah. I have a question. Did we talk about the medical after action? Yeah. I started. No, I started. we just did. No, no here's what happened is we? like, oh, yeah. I so said, we, we went into the thing and then we, you know, we, we taught a bunch 45 of 45. Yeah, we trained about 45 people and then boom into Uvalde. No, at how not to, to keep their family members alive. I said it. I said we trained him. I mean, what do you want me to tell you? Like give specifics I don't know, like talk about, about the classes the class. and, yeah i said it i said the are beyond the band-aid stop the bleed traumatic uh, medical because i was googling something yeah to try to find something I'd yep totally i sure it. did say it so 40 we had 45 students um that that participated in our traumatic medicine class it was a great fantastic class uh really good students and you could be one of those students too in the very near future uh just pay attention and uh, Student of the Gun University is where you're going to need to go and sign up and all that good stuff. Training calendar will be available at SOTGU.com. If it's not there yet, when you go look, keep looking. It'll back. be there soon. in the middle yeah. of releasing the site redesign. So, All right. Tomorrow on the bonus hour, grad program bonus hour, number two. is it? Well, it's uh, the first bonus hour. It's 1148 part two. Rifle as an instrument of liberty. We're going to talk about leadership. We're going to talk about fighting fitness, and we're going to talk about what the founding fathers had to say about people being armed citizens. That is tomorrow, Thursday. And if you would like to join us, we would love to have you there. Uh, but you need to uh, you need to do something positive and affirmative. Uh, you need to do something deliberate in order to be there. And what is that, Jared? Go to getsotg.com. Follow the instructions. We welcome you to join us for a 30-day trial. It only costs you a dollar. If you don't like it, then you don't have to stay. There's no strings attached. There you go. All right. Until we're together again, ladies and gentlemen, be strong, be bold, be fearless, be an American citizen, not a slave. Remember, you're a beginner once. You're a student for life. We appreciate your reviews. If you haven't left a review or updated yours recently, head on over to Facebook, iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or your favorite podcast player to voice your opinion. Don't forget to join us at The Student Lounge, a place for like-minded individuals to learn, connect, and support each other. No chicanery will be tolerated. Remember to check studentofthegun.com daily for new, free content and giveaways. Watch, listen, read, shop, and connect at studentofthegun.com. Are you a social butterfly? Connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter for new content each and every day at Student of the Gun. Watch Student of the Gun TV 
and videos from our trusted partners on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Chromecast, and even AirPlay. Go to studentofthegun.com for direct links, and remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.